Next, on Access AC Live, we're going backstage at the Pulse on Tour. We're going to talk with several famous choreographers about inspiring the next generation of dancers. Plus, find out what's happening this weekend at Atlantic City nightclubs. Access AC Live starts right now. Hey everyone, I'm your host Whitney Ullman and welcome to Access AC Live, the weekly show where we bring you all of the hip and exciting things to see and do in Atlantic City. If you weren't in town last weekend, then you missed the Pulse on Tour. It's a high energy dance event featuring top choreographers like Tice Diorio, Lorianne Gibson and Brian Friedman. We had a chance to interview all three, so let's hear what they have to say. So I'm like Alica, slicker than grease, no Malia. Me, I sing shits like Alica. Z with the valleys up, G's for the Alica. Spin like a jelly up, put you in the frame, you just shoot like a camera. Me, I go on, on, on. Stamina. I don't want politics, no states, Canada. Got a more positive, like an AIDS carrier. Like I ain't badder than a bag of rap badges. Trying to blag a little grammar, did I stutter, did I stammer? Grown folks, I got so no Gallagher. Looking like a challenge, now they looking back in anger. I'm a hooker for a banger, if it up just for a bag of motivation. They'll be buzzing when I touch them operation. <laughs> I'm sitting right next to the creative director, Brian Friedman. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. So how is it to be in Atlantic City with the Pulse on tour? It's amazing. We started uh, eight years ago with the Pulse in New Jersey, and it's been a long road, but it's now taken us here, and this is our biggest event that we do. So we're thrilled that everyone's coming, and the kids here are always really excited, yeah. and the parents as well. They're great, so we love it. Yeah, we saw thousands of people, it seemed like, downstairs all coming in. You have all different courses that you're offering from beginner to intermediate to expert. How did you come up with this idea? Uh, basically, we wanted to do something where we brought working choreographers who are actually in the industry who are creating all the content that we're watching at home to the masses because these are people who don't normally teach. They're people that you would never get the opportunity to work with yeah. and we wanted to make them accessible. Right, and just as yourself, I mean, you've worked with The X Factor in the UK. I heard you were a little too critical, so they uh, made you the creative director. Uh, no. I, was, <laughs> I, I can't say that I was too critical. I, I definitely have a bold opinion. Yes. Um, but I think that, you know, that's what, what people want to hear. They yeah. want to hear the truth. But I was nice. You I, were nice. I swear, I, I was really nice. I'm on your team. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so then you came to the United States X Factor. How was it working with all these judges? Did you feel a camaraderie between you, or was there a lot going on behind the scenes? Uh, it depends. You know, I, I, yeah. I've been working with Simon for seven years now okay. on the show, so I, I get him and I understand his rhythm. And right. I worked with L.A. Reid last season on the show, so, so we sort of have worked it out and, and we know yeah. our place. But Brittany and Demi, who are the new judges on the show, it was definitely a new place for them to be because they had never been in that position before. Of course. Uh, Brittany and I have worked together in the past, though, so we were easy in finding sea legs and figuring out how to work together. But Demi and I definitely, we started with conflict. Uh, I think it had to do with she wanted to really make her impression on the show and she wanted to win. Right. And there's nothing wrong with wanting to win. Right. So once we kind of figured ourselves out and learned how to cohabitate and both be creative at the same time, it, we really made it happen and it was good. Yeah, well that's really great to know and it's good to know some of the behind the scenes stuff as well. Now coming back to Atlantic City, you have this tour here. You started. In New Jersey. Did you grow all the cities? Did you go to multiple cities at once or was it just you started in New Jersey and then grew to the different cities? Yeah, we started our, our first season was in Secaucus, New Jersey okay. and we just did one event okay. and it right. was That's an cool. annual event. It would happen in January. We did it for about three years okay. and it was myself and Mia Michaels and we sat down okay. with the directors Pam Chansey and Mary Andreessen and we said how can we make this bigger? Where can we go with this? And we decided yeah. to take it to three more cities. So we added on Vegas and Miami wow. and we we actually went to Hawaii that year. Wow. And it was incredible. And once we did that and sort of saw that the public wanted it and it was right. something they were hungry for, we decided to take it even larger. And then we added on a couple more cities. We ended up doing eight. Then wow. it took us to 10. That took us to 12. And, and here we are now. We do 15 cities a year. Wow. It's definitely uh, an exhausting year, but it's <laughs> it's 
it's amazing to give to these kids something that they have never been able to have before. Yeah, I think that is great. How is it working with celebrities versus, you know, the people that just come and want to learn how to work out, just the normal people? I can't say that one is, is better than the other, okay. but the way that the kids come in and, and how they are so eager to learn from yes. you and they're sponges and they're at that age where they are so impressionable. Yeah. I love this. This is this is where I really I feel like I get mm -hmm. all of the goods out. It's mm -hmm. it's like the dirt you're getting down and you're building the next stars. So right. um, I think this is my favorite place to be. Now what's your favorite form of dance? I, I don't have a favorite. I don't think that there is a favorite for me. I just love movement. Yeah. I love the way it feels when I'm moving. Uh, when I first started dancing when I was a kid, I didn't know anything about different styles. Okay. I just knew that Dude. it made me feel good. Right. So whether I'm going into you know the other choreographers' classes that are here on the Pulse um, or my class, which kind of varies in, in styles, it's always the same energy. It's, it's an emotional release, whether mm -hmm. you're doing contemporary or you're doing hip-hop. It's all about the emotion and the energy. And what about the Gangnam style? How do you feel about that? <laughs> uh, I actually love it. Um, when I first saw the video, I, I loved the track. I thought it was really cute. I love mm -hmm. things that people can do and they can relate to. It's something that's for everyone. You know, you don't yeah. have to be a great dancer to do it. And it's, it's things like that that define a generation. So I'm a fan. Okay. And what advice could you give to an aspiring dancer that wants to be like you? And and put on these big events and be a celebrity choreographer? Um, I think first and foremost, do something because you love the way it makes you yeah. feel. Uh, and then if you want to do it as an occupation, just keep the heart involved in it, but train. Yes. It's, it's all about training. The more vocabulary you have, the stronger you're going to be if you right. want to enter into the workplace. I think that's great advice. I appreciate that. What's a website where we can find out more information? Uh, www.thepulseontour.com Awesome. Come down, join us. Yes, love it. yes. Please go to accessaclive.com for more information. When we come back, we'll hear from Video Music Award winner, Lori Ann Gibson. We live in a dangerous, uncertain world. Let Greenlee Security Services keep your business safe and secure. Preview. Greenlee Security Services has a history of proven success as a total provider in risk management. Our customer service is unparalleled with 24-hour access, in-house investigators, and security professionals that receive world-class training. Greenlee Security Services develops specialized, cost-effective responses to address the overall security needs of any size business. Visit GreenleeSecurity.com. There are a million places you'd never consider texting. So why would you do it while driving? Leave risky driving to the professionals. Stop the texts, and together we can stop the wrecks. This segment is brought to you by Greenlee Security, a total provider of risk management. Welcome back. Now we sit down and talk with Lorianne Gibson. If you don't recognize her name, you'll definitely recognize her dance style. She's worked with Lady Gaga, Nicki Minaj, and Michael Jackson. Let's find out why the Pulse on Tour is important to her. Hey everybody, we're here at the Atlantic City Convention Center for the Pulse on Tour and I am sitting next to, let's see, celebrity choreographer, creative director, entrepreneur, Lorianne Gibson. Welcome to the show, Lorianne. Thanks for having me. So tell us about being here in Atlantic City. Are you excited to go out on stage and see all these people that are waiting to learn from you? Atlantic City, of course, is so exciting because I remember when I took a Greyhound bus to New York and the first time I came to Atlantic City, I was like, what is this? <laughs> Wow, it's so cool, right? I mean, the water, it's just like a little piece of something in the middle of nowhere, and there's dance here, which is amazing. Okay. So I've seen some of the kids, they just, so many kids here. Yeah. So um, 
myself and all of my amazing colleagues, yeah, we've brought like the best of ourselves and it's exciting because it's always really good yeah. to leave uh, the high life or the stress of the professional world <laughs> and teach kids. Yeah, because you can see it on their faces. They right. really take everything in and they just love being here and they're so excited to meet all of you. So excited. Be just being your presence. which is Right, cool. and if we had that, oh my yeah. God, we'd probably be <laughs> less stressed when we were coming up if we had something like this. Yeah. I think it would have eased our minds and helped us a little bit, but you know, every God has a, reason, a purpose for everybody, right. so. And now you're doing this for them. So right, so they don't have to go through what we went through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, do you have a motto that you live by? I have several mottos that I live okay. by, born a dance. Um, <laughs> I, I guess it's just really, you know, um, I feel like the one motto that I always live by is, you know, never give up. And it sounds like a cliche, but it's literal. You mm -hmm. can actually never Right. choose to give up, you know, because once you make that choice, right. then life and your destiny and what's really purpose for you doesn't even have a chance to find its That's way right. to you. And sometimes it's only because you gave up, mm -hmm. you know? So yeah, I agree. I mean, when you, if you give up, you your success could have been that next minute. Right, could have been that right. next day. Right, you just don't know. So you, you just don't, have don't to know. Always pursue your dreams. Always okay. pursue your dreams, and even if you come to a crossroads, yeah. and you learn that that's not your dream, and never giving up, you still found that place mm -hmm. of true happiness. And in finding yourself, your dream ultimately does come true. But yeah. you know, for us, we know what our dream is because it's, it, as dancers. You get it at, as a little girl most yeah. of the time, so you get that vision very young. Mm -hmm. So you spend your life fighting through um, what can be very difficult. Mm -hmm. Especially, I think, for being a dancer, uh, most dancers, from what I've found, seem to know at a very young age what they want to do. Growing up knowing that is one thing, but then there are some dancers who in their 20s were like, I want to be a dancer. You know, What do you say to, to children and adults who both have that same aspiration? I say to anybody, when you get the call, answer the phone. Honey. <laughs> if you want to be a dancer at 40 and that's what your spirit is telling you, when you get the call, answer the call. You yeah. know, it is a gift that I believe. You know, I definitely believe that God has given me a gift and it is the gift of dance. But whenever you get the call, yeah. um, some people get it late in life for a reason we only understand when they right. become that successful, you know? Right, of course. So, the other biggest thing for me is to never look at what someone else is doing or never judge yourself as a result of someone else's right. success. I 100% agree. It will tear you apart or make you believe falsely that you haven't made it or your time is over right. or that you'll never obtain the things that you dream of. That is probably the biggest lie mm -hmm. that sometimes the world and the business gives you. Yeah, I agree with you 100% on that. I know a lot of times, especially I think also from being female in the world and you're always looking looking at other females, what are they doing? What are they right. up to? And then it's like, oh, well, am I? Uh, maybe I'm yeah. not good enough. But meanwhile, yeah. you know you have talent. You right. know you're so good. You've accomplished all these things, but yet you see what someone else does and then... You're judging yourself, exactly. right. Exactly. So tell us about where you're going to eat in Atlantic City while you're here. Oh my God, <laughs> where am I going to eat? Everywhere on the boardwalk, all of those wonderful Gracie signs and uh, there was like a, my, my eyes were like this on the way in, uh-huh, won't be counting calories this weekend. <laughs> fried Oreos on the boardwalk. Ah, oh, <laughs> fried everything. I'm yeah. going in. Thank you, Atlantic City. Yeah, that's really cool. Now tell us about your website where people can find out more information about you. That's very interesting because I'm very creative, which means my, technica my technical ability is a little bit like, mm. So I do know that uh, I'm Boomcack Worldwide, okay. uh, so you can go to my website. And then I do know my Twitter is I am Boomcack. Right. And then I do know my Instagram is Boomcack. So <laughs> those things I do know. Okay. But, um, that's, I mean, that's yeah, a good amount. Okay, okay, and so good. for the Boomcack, just tell us what that is again. Boomcack is like boom, cack. Boom, cack. It's like, I don't know, I can't. Boom is my heart and cack is my soul. It's like the drum of a drum, the snare and the hi hat of the beat. Boom, cack, boom, cack. And apparently, I used to say it from making the band days when I would choreograph, like I'd be like, throw your shoulder back, boom. Okay. I'll bring it forward, cack. Oh, yeah! Okay. So it was like sound effects <laughs> to help people who can't dance, dance. Right. And then it so kind of stuck dance. with me. And <laughs> it's just so much attitude. Yeah. It's like, just. But I think boom. it helps people remember cat. what they're doing, especially... Right. And then when you go like, boom, cat, 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 boom. Right. Right. Yeah. So it helps you with like, ah. speed, too. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> I want to learn that, though. 
That's really funny. Well, we really appreciate you being on the show today, Thanks Laura for Ann. having me. So thank you so, so much. No. Oh, thank you. Oh Happy gosh, New Year. Oh, my gosh, you too. 213, Year of the Boom Cat. Boom Cat. Thank you so much for being on the show. As always, you can go to accessaclive.com for more information about The Pulse. Next, we have choreographer Tice Diorio, and later in the show, you're going to find out about the latest buzz at Atlantic City nightclubs. If you drive buzzed, it could cost you around $10,000. You'll face major legal fees, major fines, and steep insurance penalties. You could lose everything. Nothing kills a buzz like getting pulled over for buzz driving. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Seven thousand high school students drop out every school day. Let's catch them before it's too late. To start helping students in your community, visit boostup.org. Thanks for staying with us. Celebrity choreographer Tice Diorio is known for his work on So You Think You Can Dance. He's developed dance moves for J-Lo and Janet Jackson, plus many other performers. We talked to him about the new generation of dancers and his work with the Pulse on Tour. <laughs> Thank you for coming on the show. Thanks. I know you've worked with many different celebrities and you've worked with mm. different people and you're here on the Pulse on tour. Tell us about coming to Atlantic City and how excited you are. <laughs> I'm really excited because, you know, we all get to work together. I mean, the faculty, you know, we've got Brian and Dave and yeah. Chris and Gil, everybody. It's just so awesome. And, and we've been doing it for, uh, I mean, a lot of seasons and and the dancers are great yeah. and and this and I think Ian just taught a class um, that I'm getting ready to teach was the advanced level and he said they're very good so I mean I'm excited it makes yeah. you happy I guess yeah. when people are good yeah, and they and can then, understand you know moves. and then like Lorianne and and Ian were just hanging up here in the suite talking about you know our projects and mm -hmm. our and our classes and just yeah. Just having good camaraderie, you know what I mean? Yes. It's fun. I love that. I love hearing about <clears> that. <throat> yeah. Talk about So You Think You Can Dance. How did mm -hmm. it feel working with them? Uh, the show? Yeah. It's great. I mean, we're so lucky to be yeah. uh, dance on television and have that, you know, have it celebrated. Yeah. And, you know, dancers have waited so long to be in the forefront and not just um, in the background. So now dance is, is really relevant and very present. And we... And we are, and we're, we're the voices for dance now, and it's great. It's so we're, we feel lucky, and we're just lucky to learn from each other, mm -hmm. and just, and that's what what we teach these kids. Yeah. Here at the Pulse, the Pulse there's it, there's no other like the Pulse. I think it's you're great. right. I mean, yeah, so many people are here because of that, and yeah. you have all different levels of courses here. Yeah. And of course, to learn from you and from mm. some of these other big time choreographers, it's right. such a great experience for them. It is. It's yeah. great. We love it, and it's a learning experience for us because there's their dance teachers are choreographing, and we get to sit there on a Saturday night and watch this showcase of these people who are choreographing that are not um, um, doing it on. Um, on television like right. we are but so we're inspired by other choreographers yeah. and different people that's great so you're yeah. learning all yeah. the time there's so many talented choreographers and, and creators that it's like we can all learn from each other mm -hmm. in a great way who's your inspiration you know uh, you know actually uh, you know the faculty at the pulse is such an inspiration but I will say one of the members uh, is a real inspiration, Desmond Richardson, and he's not here this weekend with okay. us because he's probably busy doing something fantastic. Okay. You so know, are you. He's so brilliant. He's one of my inspirations, you know, as well as like just all the different people that I've worked with. That's really yeah. great. Do you yeah. have a motto or a mantra that you live by? Yeah, I, I try to keep things really simple. Yeah. Because like, I feel like simplicity is key. Okay. And it's effective, and, and it doesn't have to be complicated. Actually, Lorian and I were just talking about that. Mm -hmm. And it's just like things don't, because of business like we're in, it can get very complicated and very yes. unnatural. And I feel like to keep it 
simple is best. You right, know? The, the old KISS motto, keep it simple, totally. stupid. Totally, I think, I think so. You know? That's really amazing. So yeah. have you been to Atlantic City before? Yeah, definitely. Okay, <laughs> what do you like? Do you like to gamble? Do you like to eat? What do you like to um, do? Atlantic City is a thing that I will say is great if you're with people. Okay. <laughs> and, and it's great because I'm with friends. Yes. So we all can keep each other really on a good, you know, great energy yeah, and a good note, course. you know, so. <laughs> That's really cool. Yeah. So what are some of the craziest experiences you've had just in dance in general? Like what are the craziest things you've seen? Cra oh, wow, that's such a broad question. <laughs> the craziest things I've seen? Yeah. I'm, I'm alive, aren't I? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, no, I mean, in our industry, there we were just talking about it. Mm -hmm. Like, did, there are some crazy things that we see within this business mm -hmm. that, you know, this business makes people do things that are crazy. <laughs> that's you know, true. I, you know, we work with different celebrities that are somewhat crazy. You <laughs> okay. know, oh, you know, I believe it, that, it, sure. It, you know, it's all, I mean, <laughs> it's all encompassing, I think. But the good thing about it is it's a good crazy. You yeah. know what I mean? And it's, it's always fun yeah, and exciting. Yeah, you know, it keeps it interesting. We're artists, we're creative people, you know, we, we move right, we move, we're like gypsies, mm -hmm. you know, so I think, yeah, uh, you know, <laughs> let's see the craziest thing. I'm trying to think of one Maybe thing. Maybe an embarrassing thing. How about that? Embarrassing. God. Oh God, I'm thinking. It, uh, there's probably there's, there's so many. There's so many, but we'll I, leave it I, you know, that. I can't go through them right now. But yeah, I'm sh yeah there are. Okay. I, an, an artist that will remain nameless. Yes, you know that I've worked with in the past. In okay. The past. Crazy cuckoo. Okay. For Cocoa Puffs. Well, yes. I, I can almost imagine that. Yeah. I believe it. What yeah. about if people want to find out more information about you and what you oh, what um, you're doing? Well, um, let's see. You can um, stay on my Twitter page. Okay. At Tice Diorio. Okay. More followers, please. Yay! And um, I have a, a blog page too, Tice Diorio. Okay. You can see some of my work and yeah. That's really great. Yeah. Well, we really appreciate your thank time. You. We thank you so much for coming on the show yeah, today. Yeah, thank you so much. And I really appreciate it. For more exclusive interviews from the Pulse on Tour, check out our website. There's more ahead on Access AC Live. Getting closer to nature? Can get you closer to your family. Go to discovertheforest.org. We live in a dangerous, uncertain world. Let Greenlee Security Services keep your business safe and secure. Preview. Greenlee Security Services has a history of proven success as a total provider in risk management. Our customer service is unparalleled with 24 hour access, in house investigators, and security professionals that receive world class training. Greenlee Security Services develops specialized, cost-effective responses to address the overall security needs of any size business. Visit GreenleeSecurity.com. Nightlife in AC is heating things up this winter, and nightclub promoter and expert Steve Sagan tells us several hotspots you've got to check out this weekend. We are broadcasting from the fifth floor of the Chelsea Hotel, located right next to the Chelsea Prime. And if you've never been here, this space is beautiful. They have so much going on in the hotel. They have the living room downstairs. They have the C5 where you can party it up in the summertime. They have the beautiful Chelsea Prime. If you ever want to come to a fun, great venue in Atlantic City, definitely check out the Chelsea Hotel. On today's show, I'm so excited because I am here with Steve Sagan. He is the president of Epic Events and Management here in Atlantic City, and he's the one that's behind the scenes that helps put on all of the really cool events and gets all the fun DJs and people and promoters at all the nightlife here in Atlantic City. So welcome to the show, Steve. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. So tell us about Epic Management and about yourself. Well, Epic Management and Events Group started uh, last year when I came back from Las Vegas. Okay. Um, Pretty much, I teamed up with the owners of Center Stage Entertainment. Okay. And we handle most of the entertainment and celebrity bookings, uh, the marketing for Harris Properties okay. or Caesars Entertainment, which is now 
the official corporation name. Mm -hmm. um, and it's been a great, great run this past year. Yeah. Um, we have uh, MC Ringo every week uh, hosting at the pool. He's really good. We've expanded back into nightlife over at Showboat in the House of Blues section okay. with uh, Ritual Saturdays at the Foundation Room. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the, the, the marquee events at the pool after dark every weekend. Now, tell us about the Ritual Saturdays. What does that mean? Uh, Ritual Saturdays is kind of like a play on the word ritual. We want you to make it a ritual stop. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know, part of your every Saturday night stop, it becomes a ritual. Just mm -hmm. go to the foundation room, whether before going out to another club or yeah. when you're done at another club, make sure that you stop in. Uh, say hi to the bartenders. Uh, you know, we, we've got Coleman. He's a uh, he's a mainstay at the foundation That's room. That's right. Uh, he started out at the foundation room in New Orleans, the original one, yeah. and you know he's been up here for the last five years, and everybody knows him. He That's actually great. has people from uh, New Orleans and some of the other foundation rooms that he's worked at. When they visit Atlantic City, they make sure that they Come stop in to see him. That's really neat, and I know Ritual Saturdays also, and one of my girlfriends, Lori Sunshine, she's performing January 26th yes. that night for her Rising Star yes. tour. And so you do have local performers as well as celebrity DJs and different people. Tell us about some of the events coming up this weekend in Atlantic City. Uh, this weekend, uh, we will actually have the radio frequency tour with uh, Philadelphia radio host Chio in the morning show. Oh, that's cool. Uh, he and his morning show team will be at the foundation room for that. Uh, then at the pool after dark, uh, Frankie J will be performing live. Uh, he's fresh off his tour with Jennifer Lopez wow. and Enrique Iglesias. Um, those are the two main events at, uh, the pool. at the pool and for Caesars Entertainment. And then over at Revel, my favorite DJ, uh, Robbie Rivera is actually going to be DJing at uh, HQ on Saturday night. Well, that's it for this episode of Access AC Live. As always, I want to thank you for watching our show. Please check out accessaclive.com for web exclusive videos and stories. Also, we'd love to hear from you, so please write to us in the comment section and tell us what you like to do in Atlantic City. But let's keep it PG-13. Also, you can follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. From all of us here at Access AC Live, thank you for watching, and we will see you next week. Bye, everybody.